here are the bonus features. First of all, how can we enter a cube root? So let me show you. Here is the square root key, right? And then you see that we have the cube root symbol here. And then this is in orange each color. So to hit that, you have to first hit shift and then this key. And then you see the cube root symbol pops out. And then we just have to enter negative 125. That's it. The answer to this is negative 5. And what if the question is asking us for the fourth root, such as this one? Well, let's take a look right here. As we can see, here is the power key. And then in the meantime, this shows you the radical symbol with the box here and then the box inside, right? So this is the key we're going to use. First hit shift and then this key right here. This will allow you to enter any index for the radical. So right here, I'm going to put the four and then I have to move inside. So press the right key. And then inside here, we have to enter a fraction. So fraction key one, go down. 81 like this and then equal and we have our answer one third in case if you want that small one second just press s to d for the answer and you see that this is 0 0.3 with a bar on the top that means 0 0.3333333 forever right so it also shows you the bar really really cool and let's take a look of one more right here what is square root of negative 49 well I know square root of 49 is 7. How about square root of negative 49? What's the answer for that? Is it negative 7? Well, it's not. Let me show you. Press square root. So this is just a regular square root. But then inside, we have the negative 49. And then press equal. And you see, we got a math error. And this should remind you that we cannot have a negative number inside of the square root. Inside of the cube root, it's okay. The answer is just a negative value. But then when we have a negative inside of a square root or a negative number in an even root, then the answer is not a real number. This is what you have to do if you want to use complex numbers. Let me show you. We are going to go back to this page and then go to mode again. The first one is for the regular computation. The second one is to deal with complex numbers. You know this right here has to be a complex value. So hit number two. And now we are able to do anything with complex numbers. So let me enter square root of negative 49. And you see the calculator will give you the answer 7i. Okay, so it depends on if you are going to use complex number for the answer or not. Okay, and then do you think that's it? Well, we'll just talk about the i. Right, the imaginary number, the complex numbers. Here is another bonus reason of why you should get that calculator. Let's say you are in the middle of the semester of your algebra class, or maybe toward the end, and then you are going over on how to work out the complex numbers, such as this right here, parentheses 5 minus 2i, and then raised to a second power, and let me show you how we can do that on the calculator. We are still in the complex mode, so that's good. Right here, we have to enter the parentheses and then the 5. And this is a minus. Use this for the minus, okay? If you use a negative right here, you'll get syntax. That means you press something wrong. Let me show you. If you press negative here and then 2, and this is the I button here. And because we're in the complex mode already, you can just press this and then it pops out the I for you and then close parentheses and then square. But then because I use the negative for this right here, this is going to give us syntax error. That means we enter something incorrectly. So let me redo this. Parentheses, 5. Use this for subtraction. Okay, so minus 2i, close parentheses, square. And then we have our answer. 21 minus 20i. Really, really cool. What else can you say, right? Next one, let's do this. What if we have to divide complex numbers? No problem. So fractions on the top, we have 3 plus 4i. Go down for the denominator, we have 2 minus 7i. And then enter. And then you see that the calculator divides for you. And then this is in the standard form of the complex number a plus bi. And that's pretty much the answer. Negative 22 over 53 plus 29 over 53i. And then that's all. There is one more thing that I want to show you. Usually by the end of your algebra class, 
or somewhere along the way in your college algebra class, you have to learn about logarithms. But in many of the calculators does not allow you to enter an expression like this. Log with a specific base, such as base 2, and then 32. But don't worry, this calculator will take care of you. This is the usual log key, and that's the key that many of the calculators have. But then, you see this right here. We have the log with a small square and then a rectangle right here, right? This is the key that we're going to use. Press that, and this will allow you to enter any base for the log. I want to have base 2, so just put a 2 right here, and then press right so we can get into the parentheses, and then enter 32. And we are done. The answer to this is 5. One more just for practice. Log base 3 of 0. Well, let's see. I am going to use this log key. Base is 3. Press right. And then I'm going to enter 0. And then equal. Oh my goodness. Math error again. Did we enter anything wrong? No. If you enter anything wrong, then that will give you a syntax error. In this case, a math error means this is not a doable expression. And in fact, we cannot enter 0 inside of any log. We cannot enter any negative numbers inside of any log, neither. The response for this log base 3 of 0 is undefined, and that's just like we are getting a math error. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys do, please share and subscribe. That's it.